Hey guys, today I got a great trick for you. It's a sandwich uh, routine. I absolutely love this trick. It's my favorite sandwich routine that I know. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Let's check this one out. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm a little tired. And I don't really feel like doing any work today. But luckily, I have two jokers. Now, these jokers, not only did I teach them how to ride a bike, but they can find selections like no one else can. Okay. And for that reason, I'm going to have you select cards, and then hopefully they'll be able to find it. So if you would, just reach into the pack and take out any card you'd like. Let's say, I don't know, you like uh, this card and this card. Those look fine. Let's take a peek at these. We have the King of Hearts and the Five of Spades. We'll bury both of those down inside the pack. Just like this take a peek at this you'll notice they're actually in the center here I'll push those in completely so now that your selections are lost I'm not gonna find your cards but my two helpful jokers are see nothing in them just regular two jokers we just have to give them a couple seconds okay just let them sit one two three snaps and they found it there's your first first card one of your selections, the King of Hearts. You see how good they are, guys? They go quick, and it's easy. Now, you did select two cards, so let's try this thing again. This time, it's quicker. It's one snap, and they found another card, the Five of Spades. Just like that. Hope you guys like that. That is called Miracle Sandwich. Let's check out how do you do that trick. All right, guys, so I hope you like setups and double stick tape because you're going to need a little bit for this trick okay here's everything you're going to need you're going to need four jokers now i like to use just regular jokers instead of guarantee jokers but you can use a mix of guarantee and regular jokers next uh, that's four jokers you're going to have two five and two kings okay now you may be asking i said four jokers but you only see three well actually you're going to take one of your jokers and stick it to the back of one of your fives. I just took a little bit of double stick tape and it sticks great. All right, so go ahead and do that. It won't ruin the card. Don't worry about ruining the card because it won't. The double stick tape comes off right after you're done with the trick. All right, so you have your double stick tape. Uh, you put those together. Also, you're going to put a piece of double stick tape on the back of one of your jokers. Right now I have double stick tape on the back of this as you can see. Put that off to the side. Also put your five off to the side. We'll get back to the, those cards in a moment. You have also just a regular five of spades and two king of hearts. Both regular, nothing going on there. Put those off to the side as well. And you'll need also another two regular jokers. Okay. Now let's go into the setup on how to set everything up because uh, you will have to know how to do this so the trick works. First off, take one of your regular jokers and place it face down. Now what I like to do is put the wheels toward myself, okay? Now just remember wheels toward yourself. Uh, that way when you're doing the trick, everything looks right. I'll, I'll get into that uh, a little more later on. So one regular joker followed by your double-sided card with the joker facing up and once again wheels should be toward you okay next you're gonna place one of your duplicate kings right on top of that followed by your king and your five on top of that now these king and five right here those are the cards you'll be forcing those are the cards they will pick okay so you have those and then uh, followed by another regular joker, followed by a joker with double stick tape on the back. Okay, you can show uh, your two jokers. You can take those off. That's how you're going to start the trick with them right there on the table. Next, you have to force the next two cards in the deck. Now, any way you like to force cards, feel free to do that. I like to do the riffle force where they just riffle down and they come to the two cards. Now keep in mind that a little ways after these two force cards, 
is a card, a joker, that's face up. Because of that, you want to be very, very careful taking off these cards. Okay? Do it slowly so you do not flash. After that, show them the cards. Uh, they only need the names, and you can bury them in the deck. We don't need these anymore. So you bury them in the deck, and you're ready to go. What you're going to show is your two jokers. Now this one has double stick tape, so you're going to take this one, put it on top of the other one, very lightly, very, very lightly. Take both of those cards, put them on top of the deck, and square everything up. Now remember, this card right here is double stick tape, so if we apply a little bit of pressure, not too much, just, just a little bit, they should stick together as one card. Now, it makes the illusion that one card is trapped in between, and it would be the first selection. Now, because you did that setup, uh, that card should show up, okay? Now, if it doesn't, uh, just look back at the setup, okay? Now, you should have your two jokers like this. One, the first joker on top will have a bat. The next one after that will have the five on the other side. You need to switch this around. You want the five on top and the regular joker on the bottom. Now once you've casually done this, it's not, you just casually switch them and then you turn them over. And when they're turned over, you spread them out again and there's the five in between two more jokers, just like that. That is the trick guys. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. That's it. Hope you like that one.